We have continuing coverage tonight. Jurors heard testimony today from another daughter of Assemblyman Joaquin Arambula. He's facing a charge of child cruelty. CBS 47's Angelica Leilani joins us in the studio with the latest Angelica. Well, today in court, we finished watching a recorded interview where the alleged victim talked about her grandmother telling her to only talk about the nice things her dad does for her. So, quote, he does not, he would not get in trouble. Then today on the stand, Arambula's middle child, when we're not showing her face, but take a listen to the audio. Who spanks you when you get in trouble? Mm -hmm. Just six years old and barely able to see over the edge of the witness stand in court. But with a stuffed animal tucked under her arm, Dr. Joaquina Rambula's middle daughter recalls moments of being squeezed. And why does your mom squeeze you? Because I, I did something wrong. How does it feel when she squeezes you? It hurts. Those comments seem to conflict with what we heard from her older sister's testimony yesterday and in an interview she gave to a child abuse specialist last December just after the alleged incident where the alleged victim says her dad is the one who allegedly hurts her. Today in court, the defense fired rapid questions while cross-examining witness Kenneth Dodd, the chief detective assigned to the case, asking why things were done and not done certain ways. But Dodd maintained he treated the case like any other. Sir, if I did as you are implying, then this case would have been treated a lot differently. The prosecutor may not have gotten all the answers he was looking for. Our legal analyst weighs in. Seems like the district attorney is constantly backpedaling, trying to explain why they didn't do certain things that they did and perhaps explain why they did what they did. And today on the stand, three school employees also testify. They say that at the day of the alleged incident, the alleged victim did not cry but seemed to be upset. They say only she only asked for an ice pack, but it seems that they could not recall any of the moments of that day either. And the trial continues tomorrow morning. For now, reporting live in the studio, I'm Angelica Leilani, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Angelica, thank you. For continuing coverage of the trial, you can download our mobile app or go to our website, yourcentralvalley.com.